All right, people, your boy, man, Mike T, coming at you guys with yet another video, and this is kind of a, a rant slash tribute to the greatest Falcons of all time, Tommy Novis, Mr. Falcon. Um, this is this really makes me angry. This is why I created this channel. It's just to give the proper respect to the Atlanta Falcons players that get absolutely none whatsoever. There is no way in the hell that Tommy Nova should not be in the Hall of Fame. This dude has been, without a doubt, one of the greatest linebackers of all time. And just because he's an Atlanta Falcons, we've been absolutely horrible for, you know, the first 20 years or so of our existence. This guy just gets disrespected. He is disrespected like no other. There is no reason why Tommy Novus in 2020, we're talking about 2020, this this guy, this, this guy, this guy has been retired. I mean, he's he passed away in 2017, but he, for the most part, retired in 76, I believe it was. And... We're talking about a guy almost, what, one, two, three, almost four years. This guy still not in the Hall of Fame. 40 plus years, this guy's not in the Hall of Fame. I don't know how the hell you guys look at you yourselves in the mirror and look at his stats, look at his play, look at how the players of yesteryear Praise Tommy Novus. And you're trying to tell me that he's not a Hall of Famer? Mr. Falcon? He's not a Hall of Famer? Just utter disrespect. All right, I, and I'm going to get to the numbers. I'm going to get to the numbers. This, this guy's, look, when, when, we go to, when we talk about some of the greatest linebackers of all time, Joe Namath knows who he is. Joe Namath. He knows who Mr. Mr. Falcon is. He know. He knows. It's one of the greatest athletes you can ever see. One of the great greatest athletes of all time. This guy was not only a linebacker, but did you know that he was an offensive guard as well? Yeah, the dude was a guard as well. So he's physical. He's tough. This guy's just amazing athlete. And just to see the disrespect from the NFL year after year after year. We're talking about putting Sam freaking Mills in the Hall of Fame before Mr. Falcon. That is what pisses me off. And this has nothing to do with Sam Mills. I think he's a terrific player. I think he's a terrific person. But you disrespect Mr. Falcon. For over 30 years. Over 30 years. You don't even think about putting him in the Hall of Fame. Why? Because he's a Falcon. This is the reason why I have a major problem with the media. They can all screw. They can all screw off. Alright? And I'm trying to be as PG as I possibly can. Alright? But to have... Tommy Nobis. We're talking about putting so many other linebackers in the Hall of Fame before Tommy Nobis. Why? Probably because you're too damn young to understand that that, that he is who he is. But it's just I get that. But this is more so than the this is more so towards the older generation of football fans. The, the ones that are even before me. The guys like my father who saw Tommy Nobis play, and they say over and over again, like the Dick Buckets, all these guys said, look, I was great, but Tommy damn Nobis, Thomas freaky Nobis, like Thomas Nobis, all right? Tommy Nobis was one hell of a linebacker. This is coming from these guys, not me. This is coming to greats, and you tell me that you don't respect their opinion of Mr. Falcon to not put him in the Hall of Fame, you're not even listening to Dick Buckus. Why? Because you're, you're biased. This is why I hate the Hall of Fame. I hate it. I hate it. This is not this is not about players. This is not about the players and what they did on the field. 
It's not. It's not. I said the same thing about Terry Owens. Who cares if Terry Owens was a, uh, uh, you know, he was a, he was a, off, he was just a problem. Who cares? This is about him on the field. And to deny him three times, two, three times, it's, it's despicable, dog. It's despicable. All right? It's really, it really is. And to just say to yourself, look in the mirror and tell me that Tommy Novus is not a Hall of Famer after guys like Dick Buckers, we're talking about some of the greats in their time who says this, they were truly afraid of this guy. An unofficial, all right? This is just an unofficial record. Just think about this. This is an unofficial record. Could be a, a very well be an NFL record, but this is the unofficial record of 200 and 294 tackles in a season. Think about that. Think about that. An unofficial record of 294 tackles in a season. And you're trying to tell me that Tommy Novus does not deserve to be in the. Come on, bro. Come on. Stop it. This ain't even, this is not even about, this is not even me, you know, campaigning for Falcon player. This is just sheer disrespect. Sheer disrespect. How can you look at yourself in the mirror and say to yourself that Tommy Novus does not deserve to be in the Hall of Fame? It's a disgrace. You should be ashamed of yourself. And like I said before, this is not a shot at Sam Mills, but you're talking about putting Sam freaking Mills in the Hall of Fame before Tommy Novus. You're giving you're campaigning to put Sam Mills in the Hall of Fame before Tommy Novus? It's disgusting. And just a little bit of a background, man. Because I'm, I'm, I'm just really getting pissed off just thinking about this. But this is just a bit of some news and notes uh, on Tommy Novus, man. He's the first overall uh, draft pick for the expansion Atlanta Falcons. Um, a ring of honor in 2004. College Football Hall of Fame in 1981. Five Pro Bowls in 11 years. Uh, just 133 games. Man, this rookie of the year. We're talking about rookie of the year. Rookie of the year, man. Like I said, he played guard as well as linebacker. Averaged about 20 tackles every game. We're talking about 20 tackles a game when he was at Texas. All right. Just, um, he's won his best plays, his signature plays, where, where he stopped Joe Namath at the goal line. Um, just... Like man, it's just so many of uh, just so many records. All right, NFL, the six 1960s, the 1960s all team. All right, he made the all 19 uh 1960s all NFL team. All right, and you trying to tell me that this guy does not deserve to be in the Hall of Fame? And like I said before, this is nothing to do with. It's just me being a horn. This guy deserves to be in the Hall of Fame. And the fact that older NFL guys who have a vote did not vote Tommy Novus in. Why? Because we were probably, the Falcons probably just sucked. You can't, you cannot, cannot punish a player because the team sucks. He's still a great player. Period. Point blank. And I don't give a damn who... Who says, you know, 290-something tackles is not that good? Like, look, bro. 294 tackles is 294 tackles. I don't care what team you play for. That is hell of good. So, th th this is just my rant, man. Um, hopefully, Mr. Falcon finally gets in the Hall of Fame um, to get what he truly deserves. But rest in peace, Mr. Falcon, Tommy Nobis. And like I said before... It's an utter and sheer disgrace for all of you who have a vote in the NFL for the Hall of Fame committee. That's an absolute disgrace for you guys to not have this guy in the Hall of Fame, all right? And that's just my opinion. 
Hopefully he gets what he deserves, but that's all I got to say about that, man, because I, I'm seriously pissed off that he is not in the Hall of Fame. I am absolutely pissed the hell off, all right? So Falcons fans, I know it's before my time, before your time, but just do your research on Mr. Nobis, man. Just do your research on Mr. Nobis, and you can understand why your boy, man, Mike, is absolutely pissed off. I am pissed the freak off. When it as it pertains to this situation, he deserves it. He deserves it, and it's time for us to give him what he deserves. And that's all I got to say about that. You guys, if you're new to the channel, go ahead hit that subscribe button. But your boy, man, Mike is out, man. Peace. Whipping the Prince of Diana, double cup bling, found her. Oh my, oh God.